YouTube. Um, first thing, uh, we did get a lot of work here done. Um, I'm sorry for the massive delay. Uh, the Sayrala server at this point is updated, as well as this one. Um, just a lot of stuff went down. Uh, we had issues with this server. Uh, we thought it was updating. It was the the chicken machine um, got clogged, and it actually spawned hundreds of entities from chicken eggs backed up through every hopper. So we had to MC edit the entities out, which we almost lost this, which, well, I'll be honest, it would have sucked. Um, as far as Sayrala goes, we got all the permissions figured out, um, get everything working. There's a few things that don't work, but they're quite livable for now. Um, as far as this, went to the nether, dug up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to be putting this, this segment's going to be in front of the video that I've already recorded, so. And then, after that, I'll see you back in here. So, I'll head on for that. Alright. So what do you got for us? Hardcore. Not too much yet. Well, would, would you like to explain to the lovely audience anything we've got going? Oh, we got your wonderful dual diamond sword wall piece here. Except it's not on the wall yet. And I can't jump. Well, we ordered the crane and they said they'd be here sometime by Monday. I thought it was Tuesday. I don't think they even know. Conveniently when the medical staff is supposed to arrive. Um... Yeah, so... Sword's down there. Zoom in! Looks interesting from here, but as an actual wall piece, it's sort of like a mosaic, I guess. You can call it a mosaic. Sort of like a mosaic in relief. It's snappy. So, what would you call your wall design? Exactly. Uh, not really certain. I mean, I call it awesome, but... I think it suits the kind of building it is. Yeah. Oh, let's see. We got hardcore designing the shell of the wall. Um, picked from like a pallet of blocks, some of which are not here. Um, I got this sword over here, um, which I had him do a wall design around it. This two swords crossed. Um, it seems to suit a battle arena. And then what we'll do is we'll copy this design onto the side of the wall. I'm sure you'll find a suitable spot for it. Definitely. Or, yeah, okay. Um, let's see, what else? Probably thinking as a floor. These spotted brick thing. I don't know what to call it. It's a floor, that's what I'm calling it. Um, 
we've still got the lobby designed to work on. Right. Which I assume I could start building the floor. You have told everybody we're replacing the dirt here with the purple dirt. Yeah. Yeah, the, the whole... Um... The whole island... Uh, where is it? Not that mini-map. That mini-map. Um... Not that one either. Actually, it was this one. So, all of... The green island... Um... I'm gonna be converting... To... Look like an undead... Place. Um... The sand and everything's gonna be red, and we're gonna have like the purple and the graveyard, and let's see, purple dirt here, the graveyard soil, some of this stuff. I uh, got red sand, red dirt, some of this blue stuff. Um, functionally, the uh, redstone is done. Which also reminds me, uh, Hardcore, I did increase the timer on the, uh... Oh. The timer Round. on the final wave to try to get a few more mobs to spawn because the fifth wave has been a little thin. Um, yeah, nothing much has changed down here. Just more repeaters in that direction. Um, it's a mess. I'll probably compact it at some point. At some point. Not sure what point. Um, I know there was something else I was doing. Oh yeah! The chicken place! I forgot all about it. Um... I need a place to stash this because it's getting annoying. Right. So, the chicken place was full of feathers everywhere. Um, let's see what I did. I made Oops. Huh. I made a Let's see an auto disposal system. I don't know. Hardcore, do you have a better name for it? Uh hold on. A space saver, maybe? Are you in the maintenance room? I'm in the I'm in the chicken thing under the under where the chests and stuff are. I don't know what 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 would you say would be a good thing to call this, since it automatically empties the chest when it gets full. Uh, the disposal unit. Awesome! I love it. It's simple yet descriptive. Um. I could think of a few other names, but probably none appropriate for YouTube. Um... You know what? Go for it. If it's too bad, I'll do a sensor beep. Oh, now I gotta really try. Oh, no. You didn't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's great. Um... Well, anyway. Um... How this is working is, if I can get in here, it's comparing a signal strength of 14 to what's in the chest. So essentially when the chest is full enough and it's, you know, going to be a 15 signal, this turns on, which shuts off 
the torch. And then it'll be comparing the full chest with no signal, which means it'll stay on until the chest empties. And then this all filters down into this dropper. And on the other side of the dropper is a lava block. And then this is just doing the same thing. This is comparing a 14 to this. So whenever the dispenser gets full, um, the dropper, rather, it, um, it shoots everything into that. And the chest will just keep feeding until it's empty. So this will just keep cycling it through. Um, that way, this system doesn't get backed up. And how that would be bad is... All of these are set like this, so if these get too full, then the signal strength increases and crosses over, and this one starts emptying, and then I have like cooked chicken getting disposed of in fire, and it's not good for business. But. That's the chicken place. Finally functional. And I say a good percentage of the chicken actually gets cooked. Uh, hardcore, how often do you get chicken out of this place? Uh, every so often, and yeah, it's definitely more efficient now. Yeah. It doesn't. Still, even though it's been resized, you can't walk through town without picking up at least three eggs. They're still getting out. Yeah, one thing I do not like about that bug is there are chickens everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. And how they get out is in that dispenser shooting eggs. This fills up and the chickens just pop right out. Which is kind of silly, but... Baby chickens do not push each other through solid objects, but adult chickens push things through. And they can survive go phasing through a solid block. Which is kind of silly. There is a creeper up on the roof. Where? Uh, on the very building you are working on. And he's looking at you. Or he's looking, looking at somebody. At me. Oh, he's looking at something. Oh boy, no, no, he's right on the other side of that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, let's see. Um. I think. Uh, hello. I'm going to help Hardcore crack on with some of this building. And, um, we'll check back in after, I'm gonna, I'll say, right after we get the walls done, before we put the swords up, I think is a good spot. So, see you then.
dramatic effect. And right as I start recording, we get a uh, falling meteor. I guess we'll start on this side. Um, because I just showed the time lapse of this. Well, your part of the wall, anyway. No. Um, there are the swords on the wall with their background. From over here, you can see Shazam. The front of the building still looks like crap because there is no front of the building. But yeah, yeah. So back of the building, he says is done. I rather, I rather like this. It's very nice. Again, it's like it's it looks like this really huge important building. And while it is important, it's not it's not necessarily huge. It's mostly maintenance access and this big obsidian room. All to conceal the redstone. I miss red power. Where I could just like zip a line up the side of a wall and be done with it. But no, I think it looks really good. And you get the beach and the dirt started. Which at some point we're going to have to go collect a buttload of purple dirt. Oh, I've already got a spot for all that. But yeah, looking at it from here, you probably see the more complete portion of it. I still yeah. have to do the roof. Well, there's the roof and the other, like, five or six sides of the building. But, yeah. I got a nice idea for the roof. I think so, so far this is um, pretty good. At least there's some progress happening. Of course, there is some progress I could be doing. I could. I got all this redstoney crap done. Um. I could possibly start cleaning up the area and probably building this road. So, I'll probably end up doing that at some point. But what I'll do is I'll cut it here and I'll work on the road and whatever you're working on over there when it I'll update as well and yeah we'll be back. Alright um so that's, that's all of that. It wasn't much, I know, but I will leave you with um, a time lapse of this. More like a fast forward. I don't have another account to stare down at myself with, but I do have a magic fast forward. So I'll leave you with that for now. As far as the Seyrala project, I'll cover that in another video. Um,
probably with either Hardcore or Caiaphas. Um, but yeah, one thing that isn't covered is this creeper and the building. So, the only thing that's not done is the interior lobby wall and the other side of the building where the swords go. But other than that, when I do get me some cloud boots, I will try to get up there and show you the roof. But that's it for now, and I'll catch you later.